Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Today we're going to be doing a rambling slash update video. I haven't done one of these in a while and it's kind of an easy video for me to make. Uh, granted, I did not have one ready for you guys on Sunday. Now, if you're not following me on Instagram, you probably don't know this, but I did get surgery uh, last Wednesday. So we're kind of creeping around the one week mark and I just haven't been able to get stuff done. Now I did manage to ship 25 orders today. So I'm pretty happy about that. I, I got what, 39 in queue which is might seem like a lot to you guys, but I usually I'm up around the 80 to you know 100 mark in queue. So the fact that I'm able to keep up with all these orders with you know with the additional printers and some help that I get around here, uh, I'm pretty stoked about that. So either way, I did manage to ship some orders and uh, it felt like a productive day. Tomorrow is a whole bunch of doctor's visits. So I don't know if I'll be shipping coral tomorrow. I'm gonna try. I know that my last appointment's at 3 p.m. and knowing the VA, I'll probably be there you know, to like midnight. No, I'm just playing. No, they're pretty good. Um, I'll be there for probably an hour or so. And then I got to come back through traffic and then hopefully get some orders out and back and over to uh, a UPS before 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. So we'll see. Um, hopefully I can get some core all tomorrow. But either way, guys, uh, I just been out of it. I haven't been able to create any uh, legit reef content. Now, I have a whole bunch of ideas, of course, that I want to do and things that I want to give you uh, regarding content wise. And uh, I just haven't been able to do it now. Um, I have been able to, uh, since I haven't been able to actually go anywhere, I have actually been able to sit at my desk and, and create things. And uh, that's where that uh, skimmer stuff, all the uh, CO2 scrubbers and like the float, all that kind of crap. So I've been really working on those, getting those done. And uh, yeah, so productive slash not productive. I guess not as productive as I'd like to be, but uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and move on to the update slash rambling. We've already kind of started the rambling aspect of it. And uh, yeah, so first things first, guys, if you uh, watch any of the videos on my channel, hit the thumbs up on them and leave a comment. It, I don't care what you guys say, say something, say, hi, what's up? How's your day? You know, I, I, I want to say something inappropriate, but I don't need another, <laughs> I don't need another check mark on my damn YouTube channel. Uh, either way, guys, I have been getting slammed with the algorithm and it's okay. I understand. Um, that's just the way it is now. Uh, yeah, ever since those roast my reef videos, like I mentioned in the live stream, ever since I made those, I've been getting hit pretty hard which is to make sense because I got flagged on them pretty bad, really bad. So yeah, it must've been a little too far for the, uh, for the uh, platform there. But uh, anyway, surgery check, skimmer stuff, pretty much check guys. If you're going on the website and you're trying to buy a CO2 attachment for your skimmer and you don't see it, you need to order the custom one. You need to mail me your lid or both skimmer cup and lid. Uh, turnaround time is a little over a week right now because I got a ton of them coming in. So um, yeah, so if you don't see your, your cup on there, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, send me, send me your lid. Now, um, it's kind of crazy. I probably should have asked people what they were going to send. If there was a, if there was a way that I could have found that out before you purchased it, because I had a lot of people sending in duplicate, like I got four or five of the Niles quantum one sixties and then like three, two twenties. And then I already had the Niles 300 up there. And then, uh, what was the other one? Uh, was it the Vertec? I think I got three of those maybe two of those, I don't know, two or three of those. So a lot of you guys are sending in the same stuff. Again, double check the website. If you don't see your skimmer, that means it's not on there. I've been updating it as soon as I get them in. So yeah, that's about it for that. Um, as for new 3D printed items, as I mentioned before, I'm trying to get one out every single week. And there's my phone. I don't know who, I don't know who you are, but don't call me. Um, yeah, I was looking for dental insurance, uh, additional dental insurance and I shouldn't have went on one of those online forums because I've been getting blown up. Everybody wants to uh, sell me their insurance. <sighs> Anyways, um, but yeah, so where the hell was I? Skimmer, yeah, skimmer. So again, check your stuff. If it's not on there, send it in. I think that's it. Um, yeah, new items. Every single week I'm trying to get a new item out on the website. Um, I usually post it on Instagram so you can check it out and see, but uh, I'm of course a little bit behind this week, but uh, I should have something new out uh, in the next uh, few days. So. Uh, I think that's it for the skimmer stuff, 3D printing stuff. Um, I think I have two printers down right now, which is pretty good out of the grand total. Um, yeah, it's a lot better than it has been. So orders are moving pretty quickly. Turnaround time for 3D printing is less than a week on most items. If you're, of course, if you're ordering, you know, $300 in 3D printing items, which by the way, I do appreciate, you know, for those of you doing that, um, it, it's gonna take more than a couple days. So just keep that in mind, okay? Uh, let's see here, fish room. Ugh, it's a disaster. <laughs> it's a disaster. I am moving my hydroponic stuff around. Um, it's just a disaster. I got the kids toys down there. 
because we're out back all the time. So I, it is just a disaster. But uh, I will clean it up and give you guys a fish room update. I'll probably do that for next week's video. Yeah, I'll give you guys a full update and show you everything that's going on. Uh, lots of growing in the uh, the low boys there uh, with the with the disc and all that kind of stuff. So I'll show you guys that next week. But uh, let's see what else I got on the list here. All right, Reef of Palooza, New York. I've gotten a couple requests to go to that. I believe it's at the end of the month. It's sometime in June here. Um, as of right now, I am going. Okay, it's going to depend on kind of what's going on health wise. Um, other than that, I'm good. I mean, I probably will have to find somebody to watch the dog, but we'll see. Um, I am I am planning on going. Uh, I'm not going to be selling any coral. Probably going to, I don't know if I'm going to do the VIP or maybe I'll just wait in line. I don't really care. Uh, most of you guys don't know what I look like, so it kind of works out. <laughs> no, no offense or anything. Um, no, I don't mind you guys talking to me. I just, you know, I'm, you guys know that I'm kind of a loner. I kind of stick to myself. I'll see if Scott might go, but um, I kind of just chill out to myself and walk around like just a regular old Joe. So if you happen to see me there, say hi. Uh, I'm, I'm, by all means, I'm not saying leave me alone. I'm just saying, hey, you know, I might not be walking around with, hey, I'm a fish of hex you know, t-shirt or something. Uh, maybe I'll do a reef tank for veterans. I don't know. But um, yeah, so Reef of Palooza, New York, it is on the list of things that I want to do. And uh, it's a go so far. I just, again, I haven't decided if I want to do the VIP or I just want to wait in line. I don't know. I don't know what the difference in price is. I think it's probably like, what, a couple hundred bucks or something? I'll have to check. But either way, uh, I do plan on going on that and uh, going to that. So I think, what else we got here? What are we been talking for like six minutes? Trying to think what else I got going on. Mm, starting to drift with a Z a little bit. <laughs> brand, brand new car. I'm trying it out. I, I'm working on it. I, I drift I drift in the other Z. Pretty decent. Um, but uh, with the Nismo, it's just different. It just it, it, the, the suspension's different. The tires are much bigger on the back. Um, and uh, it's just it's. I guess it's. I'm gonna say it's not as easy. I just. I guess more, I guess I feel like maybe I might break it. <laughs> I don't want to break the car. I owe money on it. I'm trying not to break it here. Um, I did have the opportunity to trade it in for the Mark V Supra the other day. Well, last week, actually. Uh, I was out checking it out. And the guy's like, yeah, we could do a trade in. I'm like, ugh. And your payments would only go up, you know, a certain amount a month. I'm like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So I, I, I ultimately stepped with, uh, stayed with the, uh, the Nismo, but, um, yeah, so I've been trying to do some drifting. I do plan on, um, swapping out the tires or, or actually putting some a little, a little bit bigger on the back, probably go 305 or 310 in the back. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to go a little bit bigger, um, uh, because we got the turbo going in and, uh, yeah, so I want to burn up these tires so i'm probably going to maybe do a gopro video get the maybe have my buddy drive the drone i haven't decided yet but i'm going to burn them up i just got to find an appropriate place to do it where i'm not going to get in any trouble or cause any issues especially with it being straight piped it is it is annoying and very loud and obnoxious and um i don't need to be pissing off anybody in the neighborhood so uh yeah so look forward to that video it'll be out at some point um i'll probably just post on instagram or something but uh yeah so we're going to be burning the tires to put in put on some bigger ones Yep. Anyway, I think that's it. I mean, I've been rambling. I, this is one take, guys. One take. I didn't bust any ass in this. I don't think I burped. Pretty good. Pretty good. So we're eight minutes in. Anyways, guys, that's it for the rambling video. I'm sure there's other things I want to talk about. Oh, but yeah, there is one more thing. A couple things. Um, in my oh well being boredness, if that's what you want to call it, I have been researching like <laughs> this is some weird stuff. I don't know how I got onto it, but I've been researching like GMOs, organic, all this crazy stuff. Because you guys know, if, well, if you're not aware of this, I'm really big on growing my own food and hunting and all this kind of stuff. I'm, believe me, I'm not a hippie. I'm not, you know, some nature freak or anything. But uh, I definitely prefer hunting my own food and, uh, you know, the all natural way with a bow. And I really like growing my own food. That's just something that I enjoy, the organic, you know, just good as it can be. So I have been... Uh, researching non-gmos and grass-fed this and all sorts of stuff and if you ever gone down that rabbit hole it's kind of like you know if you start watching porn as a teenager right and you just kind of click on one thing it takes you another thing and another thing and another thing and before you're on some friggin list that you shouldn't be on so it's kind of like that but with like non-gmos and organics and grass-fed and this and that and that and that so i have been kind of transitioning some of my some of my stuff over to uh the non-gmo but man if you're if you're if anybody's on a budget and you're trying to eat that kind of stuff, you have, you're, I mean, if you're trying to lose weight, it works good because you don't have enough money to buy enough food to even get fat anyways. So, so 
But uh, yeah, it's a little bit of food for thought if you guys are thinking about that stuff. But if you want to get freaked out, go ahead and uh, do some research on GMOs and what they do to rats and mice and all sorts of stuff. Uh, and if you're a hy hypochondriac like me, yeah, send yourself down that rabbit hole. Other than that, guys, <laughs> I think that's about it. Um, this is the longest one take I've ever done. And I'm not doing it again. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Peace.